Alright, we're back for the fourth and final part, which happens to start with my favourite room in the entire house. All because of one thing. You see this? It's a gem fountain. Now, I don't know about you guys, but just the first time I saw this, I honestly stared at it for like eight minutes straight. I don't know why. It just was really hypnotic. Anyway, yeah. Um, bunch of silver nuggets on the table, and a bunch of decorations, and just various eclectic stuff. Also, there's another working clock, and an alien statue in case you need to start that quest. And yes, that is an additional one, it's not, like, lifted from anywhere. Now, the library. Uh, yeah, there's not really that much to say about this. It's just there's these might be new books. I don't know, but yeah, I don't know. The biggest thing about this is the fact that there's like a bunch of uh, random helmets around. So. Uh, if you need a helmet for some reason, uh, this is the place to come get them, I guess. But, hmm, not much else to say. And no, there's no skill books, that's what I thought too. And yeah, there's just those ones up there. They're just like, you know, stickers, so you don't get, like, lagged. Oh, but there is some nice little aquariums right here. Which are, to be frank, quite probably one of the best parts of the room. <laughs> now, remember what I was saying about the whole cheating thing? Here's where it gets egregious. Starting with this st bunch of armor right here. Yeah. That circle is the only one I use. And yes, that says 5,000. I have something like that, which is which is like a lesser version of it, so it's not as game-breaking. But yeah, this stuff is sort of stuff I wouldn't ever use, because it's a bit mental. The only thing I would take is that circlet, because there's nothing else I can equip in that slot. Now what we have here is a bunch of overpowered spells. But he needs a hundred destruction to use them. Got some replicating food in here. Just more and more keeps appearing each time you open it. Yeah, there's like various kinds of that and a usable version of Stark Reality, I think. Here's the same sort of thing with the food, only with, uh, wine. Now, uh, yeah, sorry about the music skipping there, I kind of had to go away for a sec, but yeah. What we have here is a soul gem dispenser, and a varlis stone dispenser. The varlis stone one can be used once a day. That book there, use that, it gives you a free spell to teleport here. That summons a horse, that's like a hundred chameleon, which is brilliant. That gets rid of your bounty, I think. That heals people constantly. That's like force push. Not sure where that is. And that start stops combat with people. This thing here, that's like the uh, the archmage's chest, and that heals you slightly. I think. Yes, it heals all your things. Now here's where it gets broken. All of these things allow you to completely increase all of your attributes at will. I can see how it would be handy for people though. Now, there's supposed to be a lead ball here that has 5,000 weight, you know, so you can use the gauntlets properly, but it's kind of clipped through the floor. Sorry, the thing. I later found out by clipping through the uh, cupboard it works. Also, here's more versions of those overpowered weapons, only with enchantments on them. Brilliant. But, yeah, 
that's everything in here. That's that's ancient towers. I strongly recommend you download it, give it a shot, just just try it. And all that's it. Have fun with Oblivion and get this mod. Seriously. <laughs>